2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is the section. The section makes on a class. Class. And we just we have 21 classes. Then we have 99 chapters. Then we have 12, 48 sub chapters. So it goes on. So up to the audience are using up to six. Then after the six, if there are new things coming out of the six, it will be extended in the next two days. So everything here to be created has a space to fit in the code. So it's based on that that these things have been has been classified. And that brought about if if you and that brought about these these good things. So that is where we have the CCR. A reference to rating based on the classification of the products. Are we clear? The second one is a general cargo rate. This is general cargo. Any goods that we have. Uh -huh. So if the items are general cargo, it means if they are general, they are not too dangerous, they are not too expensive, or they are not a problem. That when we have any way to give. The risk involved are not too high. Uh, then, so that that has to do with the general cap. Then we come to the quantity rate or normal rates. The quantity rate is that if we are shipping, let's say, ten tons of cargo, as compared to one ton of cargo, the higher quantity will do what? Will merit discount. Remember, I gave you a rate that if we are doing a um, uh, yes, we had 501, I remember. But we had 501. And that one was about 100 kilos or so. You remember? Yeah. And then we had 2.9. That was 500 and something. I think 200 and something kilos. Yeah. So it means the more the quantity, the lesser the, the rates. That has to do with the quantity and the normal rates. The normal one is where we don't use quantity. Where we don't use quantity. Because the person is a regular shipper, but he's not having enough cargo uh, volume to move. There are some people like that. They only ship 10, 10 boxes, and that's what they can ship. And it is very regular. It, the, you cannot apply quantity rates, but you can apply the normal rates. <laughs> then we have also another section created for quantity. And that should bring difference between higher quantity as against lower quantity. So that is how we have categorized the rate reference. And it is based on this calculation that I, 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 I told you. Okay. Then we have the valuation charge. Additional insurance charge imposed on shipper whose cargo has declared value that exceeds the amount covered under the carrier's limits of liability. It means that if the aircraft anytime you give your cargo to a shipping line or an aircraft and the cargo gets missing, they will of course anybody would say that why don't you are going to pay me back, isn't it? I give my goods to you, it's missing, so pay me back. So you ask yourself, if the consignment full of goods and the whole consignment gone, and you want the carrier to pay everybody back, what will happen? He cannot pay. And so we compensate. And the compensation is based on a, a, an amount which we call as a, a token. If it is shipping, a token, it was 200, uh, 200 uh, 200 No pesos, no pesos, no pesos <laughs> uh, In fact, it, it is a token that we we'll give you uh, it's, it's 200 dollars per, per um, specific rights So, if you, 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 you take it, it's taken to court, and the court wants the, the, ship, the shipping line or the carrier to pay, then they look at based on the value and they give you that 
that amount just to compensate you. That is why it has become compulsory that when you are shipping, you also have to take insurance cover on the cargo because the aircraft operator or the shipping line cannot pay you all the full amount. So you have to go and take insurance cover to cover the cost. So when it gets missing, insurance will pay. Now, an instance might come where a contract will be between the, the shipping line, the aircraft operator, and the cargo owner or the shipper. That I have a shipment with you. My cargo is two hundred thousand dollars. So when it gets missing, I need this money from you as an airline. Meanwhile, the airline is limit because those the airline also the insurance company covering the airline. So the insurance company also specified the airline. In the event of this, you can pay only hundred thousand. That becomes the limit to the carrier. The C. So if the carrier has one hundred thousand, how can you pay two hundred thousand? So the shipper has to do what? Valuation charge. The shipper will charge additional uh, fee with which they will be able to pay that two hundred thousand to the to the shipper. Other than that, this will be the same amount. So you have a valuation charge. In addition to the freight and the charges that you're going to charge the, the shipper, you pay that in addition. So that in case of any loss, it will have the carrier to pay. So it's a big term that is comprehensive. No, we can't say comprehensive. Comprehensive is basically with the vehicle insurance. So you are uh, kind of transposing what happens in the Mm. We, we call that one all risk. In insurance, we call that one all risk. It means that anything that happens to the, the, the property, which, whichever way it happens, we should cover all the risks associated to it. Yes? So, if I'm a cargo, yes. I can say the cargo is worth more than the, the carrier's liability. Yes. What if I say I'm the valuation charge? Yes. Uh, so that means that you are going to uh, you are going to accept the carrier's liability limit. So if it happens, it's limit to pay you hundred thousand, and that's it. If you don't accept that, then you have to go you pay valuation charge. Oh, that is specified. Oh yes, of course. And and you see, the challenge we have is that we you know we give you know how we will. This is a bill of lading. The conditions are on the airway bill and the bill of lading. It is you, the shepherd, to read the conditions and agree to it. You get me? Now we don't. We don't have the time to go and read the conditions. And I say, my things are going. As some people, let's go and read the back. Uh, so that's what happens. Then the charges collect. The charge collect simply means that uh, record shipment from uh, concerning uh, delivery. It means, if you say collect, it means that you will want to pay the free charges at the port of destination. If you are shipping to which port do you like? Dubai. So you, you ship the cargo from here to Dubai. Instead of paying here, if you pay the freight here, it is charges prepaid. You are paying before the goods leave. If you pay or collect, it means you are going to pay when you are collecting a destination. Are we clear? Yeah. That's the difference between the prepaid and the collect. Okay. Then uh, those are the rates that we are we are going to. So let us, I want us to look at the, I, I'm seeing the rest coming. So let's look at the airway bill types. Okay, so the airline airway bills is simply uh, passengers served by air are issued with tickets as proof of the contract of carriage. In the, in cargo transport, this similar document is called airway bill. Uh -huh. So the airway bill, as I said, just like the bill of reading, it's what we use for what? Air transport. For air transport. Uh -huh. And uh, if you come down, we have um, types of air windows. The original is green. In fact, ours is, is, is in colors. We are still using, I don't know any of you who has been in the system for long to know Asikuda. Did anybody hear of Asikuda? 
In those days, in those days, the BOE that you people are doing online, in those days, they were typing the BOEs. And the BOE is in 13 copies. So you should get a writer that can type through the 13. Yes. So when you type, that's why we had a long room. So when you type 13, you go to each office by office. When this officer will tear one. This will tear one. By the time it goes to the end. That's why it's a long room. <laughs> That's the purpose of it. So, by the time you are done and you have your copy, it means you have gone through what? The process. So, people were, when you make any error, <laughs> you have to erase every time. So, that's why people can even erase the duty every time. So, that was the advantage that came. That's why we went on to the electronic, whereby you cannot retire. So there's history, it's a long way. So, for, we really have the same system with the airway there. We, we did in copies. So the green one is to the carrier to indicate that he is carrying a consignment. You come to the pink, accompany the shipment. You come to the on blue, the sh for the shipper. You come to original copies, having validity, clear, whatever. We had in copies, so we have the green, the pink, and then the, the blue. I think the, the other copies, number five white, number six white, number seven white, all these ones are left with the IATA cargo agents to serve as evidence that this shipment has been made. 